Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Holly's not actually meant to be a part of this video today, but she decided that she's gonna come in and annoy me. Basically, today I'm going to show you how I achieve these brows. Um, but before I do... <laughs> but before I show you that, I am going to thank my sponsor. So today, Anna Luisa has sent me more jewellery and I'm gonna show you guys. So if you've been watching me for a while now, you must know how much I love Anna Luisa. I always wear their jewellery. If you see earrings I'm wearing, necklaces, it's most likely from Anna Luisa. So first I've got these earrings, which I'm gonna try and show you without any of us. Okay, there you are. Not a very good shot, but these earrings, and they all come in cute little bags like these, obviously depending on the size of the jewellery. Then we've got, these little earrings which are really nice and shiny i love i love little shiny earrings okay i've tried turning the light down can you see a little bit better you can't see very well but it's got little like diamonds down the front of the earrings which i love and lastly i've got these earrings which come in a bigger bag Ooh, because no. they're bigger earrings she wants everything i'm showing you guys which a bit of me and they're a bit of me, which is why I've got them. Like, I'm actually going to try on some to show you guys. I'm going to try on the shiny ones because you'll probably be able to see them properly if they're in my ears. Yay! You can see them properly now. This is what they look like. See, it's one oh, shiny bit. <laughs> and one little gold bit. So they are currently running their biggest sale of the year for Black Friday. You can get 20% off, so definitely head over there. There's a link in my description. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Okay, and I'm back. I've just put my headband on, so let's get started. I use this. I found it in Asda because my favourite thing to use on my eyebrows is pomade, but they didn't have any in Asda, so I had to buy this instead. I obviously use the middle colour. I think it's collection but no promises but basically it's a powder and I want it to be like a pomade to obviously fill my brows in better so <laughs> I picked this because it's like an oil it makes it more like liquidy it's vitamin c skincare brightening serum and I literally you can literally use anything I mean, I wouldn't recommend this. I've recommended pomade. But I just put a few drops on it to make it less powdery. Then the brush I use is a Ted Baker brush. It did have a spoolie on this end, but it fell out ages ago. So what I like to do is I like to pinch it as thin as I can get it. Because that just helps make everything a bit more sharp. And I always keep a makeup wipe on the side because I'm constantly like using it to wipe my hands and my brush. Then just want to make sure your brows are in their natural position. And then I start off at the end of my brow because I hope you can see this okay. I'm trying to like show you properly. I start off at the end of my brow because this is when there's most pro product on my brush. So I don't want it to be too dark at the front of my brow. I basically do an outline at the end of my brow, if you can see that. Now that I've done my outline, as good as I can get it, obviously I can neaten it up later with concealer. I get more product on my brush so that I can fill in the end of my brow. Sorry if the camera angle's changed, it was annoying me because every time I went to look down, the camera would go out of focus and it was annoying me so anyway I'm just filling in where I want it to be the darkest and I just go over it over the same spot until it's as like opaque as I want it now that I've filled it in as dark as I can get it I won't get any more product on my brush because as you can see there's still quite a bit on my brush so now I just begin to try and fade it out you just want to this is a long process but you want to I start off by doing a line 
underneath. So once I've got that line is when I start to blend upwards through my brow. Nice and quick. You see how it's all blended out. You just want to do quick, short strokes. Can you see how it's already starting to blend? This isn't obviously the finished product, but we're getting there. You see how it's slightly bent in here? So I'm gonna put a tiny bit more product on my brush, make sure it's not too much, and just lightly, like, press really lightly. And just go over it to the shape I want it. So now I've got this, I'm gonna go and start this eyebrow. This one is a lot harder to do, obviously, because I've got a scar in the middle of it. But I'm gonna show you how I do this brow on camera because it might help people who have, there might be viewers that have the same problem with, as me. And I'm gonna show you guys how I fill in my scar without you being able to see it, basically. So it's the same process. Right, they might look really odd right now, but trust me, you, it, you've got to trust the process. So this is the main reason why you need a thin brush for this. So you're gonna go in, get more product, pinch your brush as thin as you can get it. I always start on this brow. And then you wanna start drawing fake hairs. This part takes a while because every after every hair I do, I pinch my brush again just to make sure that I don't do any like fat lines because obviously that makes them not look like hairs anymore. This is how my brow's looking so far. Obviously, you can just sit here and do as many hairs as you like. Thank you, Jonica. You found me a white tooth? Yes, I am. I'm happy with the way that brow looks, so I'm gonna move on to this brow and fill in the hairs. Obviously, this brow is a bit different, so I'm gonna start all the way from up the top of where my scar, scar face. begins. Thank you. This surprisingly doesn't take as long as you think it would, because it's actually pretty easy to fill in once you've got the hair strokes down. Rue. Holly. I adore your camera setup. It's actually, that bit of technology is so cool, like. So at the moment we've got this, obviously you can see. Have you primed your face? I'm not doing a makeup tutorial, I'm doing an eyebrow tutorial. Can you oh. shut up? Why do you think I'm going so in depth about hair strokes in my brows. I don't know. You don't really have a life. <laughs> anyway, we're moving on. This is a Real Techniques brush. I think it might be a lip brush or something, but I use it for concealer because it's nice and small. And this is actually an eye base for like eyeshadow, but I ran out of my usual concealer, which is Maybelline Fit Me. So I'm using this as concealer. And it's actually nice because it's, it's such a big bottle, it's gonna last me ages. Start from the ends of my brows again. Right, and then I don't get any more concealer, but I just drag it to the front of my brows. Right, you can see a lot. You actually make it look a lot easier than it is. It's because I'm natural. I'm a natural. Natural faker. Natural catfish. Yeah. I've done that line underneath there. We're not going to burn anything out yet. I'm going to go and I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on the outside of my eyebrow. Okay, and then I do like to just drag a tiny little bit. A poo through my hair. <laughs> <laughs> to keep it nice and brown like that 
I? Yeah, because it goes like... Well, I joined the minerals like that, so I don't get a mono brow. I'm starting to get a bit of a mono. It's very, only like blondy hairs, but... I get a mono brow when I don't shave my brows. I don't shave my brows. So I've got a bit of a mono B, but I'm growing it out. Oh, you're embracing it? Yeah. Okay, and now I I think I'm happy with I, what it looks like. I have like. a feeling that one of my flaps might be out. <sighs> well, your f uh, lady area is covered uh, by my back. I take my tiny little beauty blender and I'm gonna... That looks like a little rabbit pellet. Blend, blend, blend. This is years and years and years old and should be in the bin. Like you. Chanel. So I think I'm happy with the way my brows look. Obviously I would put the rest of my makeup on but I'm just showing my brows today and it's like 5 p.m. so I'm not gonna do my whole makeup. Once I've blended out the concealer, I go in with powder. This is collection lasting perfection powder. <laughs> oh, family vlog. And that's it. That's all I had to do to complete my brows. Oh. Bye guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was useful. I'm sorry if it was a bit messy because Holly did decide to come in and ruin it. But I tried my hardest. <laughs> um, don't forget to check out Anna Luisa. Everything, all the information will be in my description box. 20% off sale, so don't miss it. And that's it, I'll see you soon. Like and subscribe, I love you, bye.